Hello. Uh, we're going to have a look at some paintings by the artist Jackson Pollock. Um, so I'm going to show you some colours first, um, so that you can look for these colours in the paintings when we have a look at them in the moment. Uh, so the first ones are your primary colours and they are red, yellow and blue. next ones are your secondary colours and they are orange, green and purple. So we're going to have a look see if we can find those colours uh, in these pictures. So this is the first one we're going to look at and straight away I can see lots and lots of red in there. Uh, I can see lots of yellow splatters and I can see a bit of blue in there as well. So that's all of our primary colours in there. Uh, I can't really see any other colours. So I think this is mainly, mainly primary colours and then a bit of black in there and a bit of white in there as well. Uh, and uh, Jackson Pollock made his paintings by using lots of thick, heavy brush strokes and paint splatters. Uh, so we're going to have a go at doing our own uh, a little bit later. Uh, the other thing you can see, I, I like to um, find pictures in the painting. So uh, just for example, just here, I can see what I think looks a little bit like a goat. So he's got a little mouth, a little nose, two big eyes and some horns there. But uh, you might not think that. You might find a different picture somewhere else that I haven't seen. Uh, so we'll move on to the next one, which is this one and this one this one seems a lot more busy This one's lots and lots of splatters um, I can already see we've got our red and yellow and we've got some blue in there as well So they're our primary colors and then I can also see that we've got a little bit of green in there and maybe a tiny bit of orange there too which are two of our secondary colours. Um, try to see if I can see any faces. Oh, I can see a little face here, or what I think looks like a face anyway. Uh, it's like a little round circle for a face and then two blobs for eyes. Uh, I think that one looks a bit like Spider-Man actually. Um, so we'll move on to the next one. And this, this one's got lots and lots of colour in it. Uh, we've got our blue for the background, we've got some green here, we've got some red, we've got orange which is one of our secondary colours that we haven't seen yet. Um, we've got a little bit of purple down here which is another one of our secondary colours and we've got some green. Um, you can also, when you're looking at these photos, you can think about how they make you feel. Uh, this one makes me feel really happy. It reminds me of the summer. This blue in the background reminds me of uh, a sunny blue sky on a summer's day uh, with a nice big hot orange sun in the sky. Maybe reminds me a bit like a beach or something. Uh, but you might think it reminds you of something different. So that's something that you can have a think about as well. Uh, so we're going to go and we're going to have a go at making our own. So I'll try doing mine first and then I'll show you some ways of doing it and then you can have a go at home or maybe at school. So to make my Jackson Pollock style picture, um, first off I've got some paint uh, that I've mixed with a little bit of water just to make it a bit more runny so it's easy uh, to splatter and I'm just using a paintbrush. Uh, I've got green and I've got purple, which if you remember are two of our secondary colours. Uh, and I'm just going to splatter away on there. And you can do it any way you like. You can do some brush strokes, you can flick the brush with your finger. I'm going to use a bit of green now. I'm going to splat that on there. Oh, this one's a bit thicker. This one's a bit more tricky to do. Do some brush strokes on there as well. And the good thing about these paintings is 
uh, they'll, they'll always be different, you'll never get one the same, so that's really fun. Uh, so I'm going to try using some inks as well because we don't just need to use a brush, we can use whatever we want really. So I've got one of these little uh, droppers here, so we can try using the dropper and see if that makes a different effect on our paper. dropping down I can also I can use a straw and I can try blowing the ink see if that makes any difference I quite like that effect that one's nice and then uh, the other thing you can try, you don't have to just use paint or ink or anything, you could use different things. So uh, I'm going to try using a little bit of tomato ketchup, see what happens with that. Oh, that's much thicker. And I'm going to try a little bit of vinegar as well, see what that does to it. Oh, that one's not as nice, I don't think. we can maybe try using a fork as a different kind of way of spreading it round see if that makes a good effect so when you're making your painting you can think about all the different kinds of materials different kinds of things that you can use as paint or different things that you can use instead of a brush um, to make your painting uh, special to you. So have a go at that at home and if you uh, want to show us your pictures or send any pictures in uh, that would be fantastic. See you later!